Hey YouTube, it's ACU, and today we're going to be unboxing Apple's all new sixth generation iPod Touch, which was just announced yesterday. <laughs> All right, to start off, this is a great time to announce my all new giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a brand new sixth generation iPod Touch. It's incredibly easy to enter. All you have to do is rate this video up, leave a comment letting me know what you think about the new sixth generation iPod Touch and share this video. Also, of course, be sure to subscribe if you have yet to. And this giveaway is made possible thanks to Free Apps Fast. So for those of you who have yet to, just be sure to navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari and sign up. Once you do, you can actually be entered into another giveaway to possibly win a brand new iPad Air 2. All you have to do is just download apps through the service and it's really as simple as that. So again, big shout out to Free Apps Fast. And with that said, let's go ahead and get straight into this video by discussing the new sixth generation iPod Touches box before we actually take it out of the containers. So on the front, we actually have the sixth generation iPod Touch itself. This packaging is very similar, identical to that of its predecessor being the iPod Touch fifth generation, where we have the device itself sitting directly on top in clear plastic. Both sides simply say iPod Touch, and unlike the fifth gen, it's in black text instead of being dynamic based on the color of your device. On the back, it lists its capacity, and at the bottom, it just states what comes bundled in the box itself, as well as some basic regulatory details. The top is where things get interesting. We have the Apple logo, as well as this orange tab that in theory, we should be able to pull to take the plastic off so we can open up the box, but mine was quickly damaged when I tried to pull it off the first time, so it's not happening. So for now, we're going to have to actually just peel this plastic off. And once we get it started, it should be pretty easy. So let's go ahead and try to take this off now. All right, and lifting the lid, as I mentioned before, reveals the device sitting directly on top inside this plastic tray here, which should be pretty easy to remove. All you have to do is just take this sticker covering the display off of the iPod Touch, and it should just come right out. So let's go ahead and pop it out just by pushing down on this plastic lever toward the bottom. All right, so here it is, guys, the sixth generation iPod Touch. Up until now, this device hasn't really been re refreshed since the fifth generation was released almost three years ago back in October of 2012. So let's go ahead and boot up the sixth generation. We're going to go over some of the differences found in this latest model in just a second, but let's return back to the box and go over the rest of its contents. So opening up this little flap here, it says designed by Apple in California and underneath it, we should have this quick start guide for the iPod touch itself taking this plastic sleeve off. We also have two Apple logo stickers and iPod Touch info. So this is just a basic sheet that goes over some of the information on the iPod Touch. Now setting all three of those off to the side. Also inside of the box, we have Apple's regular default EarPod headphones. And directly below that, we have a lightning USB cable. So no, we do not have a power brick like what comes with iPhones to charge it. Instead, you'll either have to just plug it into your computer or use one that you have from an iPhone to actually charge up the iPod Touch. So let's go ahead and set this off now. The iPod Touch is up. I'm actually just going to go through the on-screen setup process and I will be right back. All right, so here we are with the sixth generation iPod Touch. I'm actually installing Geekbench so we can run some quick benchmarks on it and so that I can prove to you guys that this is indeed a sixth generation iPod Touch because as of now, you may have noticed that the design is identical to that of its predecessor. Literally, we have the same exact four inch retina display, what appears to be the same camera on the back. It's actually a bump up to eight megapixels though as opposed to the five megapixel eyesight camera on the iPod Touch fifth generation and overall it just sports the exact same design aside from the new color options and this is the new revised blue version. The only other physical difference that you'll notice is that the iPod touch loop is gone. We no longer have it on the sixth generation. Well essentially aside from the camera bump as you'll notice here when I open up Geekbench we have an insanely awesome processor upgrade. We now have an A8 powering the iPod touch sixth generation that is clocked higher than its predecessor so it's clocked 
clocked at 1.13 gigahertz as opposed to 800 megahertz on the iPod Touch. That alone is a massive improvement, but it is Apple's A8 processor as opposed to the A5 that powers the fifth gen iPod Touch, which means that this processor is 64 bit, which translates into incredible performance. It's the same CPU that's found on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. It is clocked slightly lower, but because it does have that four inch display and not a bump like 4.7 or 5.5 inches on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus respectively, it doesn't have to use as much of the CPU to push the pixels on the display. And you'll also notice two other interesting bits inside of Geekbench. For the model number, it has the identifier of iPod 7,1, which is the new identifier for the sixth generation iPod Touch. It's a little weird that it's not 6,1 because that's what you'd figure for the next generation device that it would just go one increment after the fifth gen, but that's not the case with this new iPod Touch. Also at the bottom, you'll notice it says 991 megabytes of RAM as opposed to 504 on the fifth gen, which means that it does have actually one gigabyte of RAM as opposed to half a gigabyte on its predecessor. So that will mean massive performance improvements, guys. And let's go ahead and run these benchmark tests here. I didn't start them at exactly the same time, but that doesn't really matter. The sixth generation iPod Touch will still finish the test first, but again, we're really interested in what score it receives for the single core and multi-core scores. So let's go ahead and wait for this to finish up here. I'm actually speeding up the process, so it should be done now, at least for the sixth generation. We are still waiting on the fifth generation iPod Touch to complete. It doesn't even look like it's halfway through. So let's go ahead and wait for that. As you can see, the sixth generation is simply a powerhouse when compared to its predecessor. And while we're waiting for the older iPod Touch to finish here, the new sixth gen also has Bluetooth 4.1, which could be integral in the future of smart home devices, as well as revised and improved Wi-Fi connectivity for faster downloads and browsing speeds. All right, and it's finally done after what felt like forever. We have an incredibly sad single core score of 216 on the fifth gen and a multi-core score of 416. Whereas when we look at its successor, we have a massive bump of 1384 as a single core score and 2433 as a multi-core score. So this thing completely blows the fifth generation out of the water. It will be great for some of the latest games on the app store, and it will be able to keep up with the latest iPhone and iPad models because remember it does have a smaller display so it won't have to allocate as much of the system resources toward pushing the pixels to the display so it can focus strictly on the applications themselves. So guys this has been an unboxing and quick review of the all new 6th generation iPod Touch. Personally I would have liked to have seen Apple implement a little more such as Touch ID but what do you think? Let me know down below in the comments and don't forget to enter to win a brand new 6th generation iPod Touch of your own. Just rate this video up leave a comment and share this video. Also, of course, the iPad Air 2 giveaway is still going on on freeappsfast.com. Be sure to check it out. And if you're interested in being updated more often, such as when I cover various things ranging from the iPod Touch 6 generation to jailbreaking, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.